Good morning everyone. Here is the Mossberg model 464 chambered in 3030. And we're going to take it apart to the point where we can remove the breech bolt from the receiver. First thing we want to do is make sure that there is no ammunition in this firearm before we disassemble it. So open the lever. Take a look down inside the chamber, visually and physically inspect that there's no ammunition in that chamber. And here's the cartridge carrier. Make sure that there's no ammunition sitting on that cartridge carrier. And you can look down inside and see an orange follower. So this firearm is completely empty. Let's close, decock the hammer, first thing I like to do after we've checked that there's no ammo in that firearm is inside behind this screw is a pin. This is the cap stop print of the screw. It holds that pin from falling out. The purpose of the pin is to hold the finger lever to the breech bolt. So we want to take this cap stop screw out. Set that aside. Don't want to lose that. <laughs> Let me get a little bucket to put all our parts in. Okay. Now down inside, you can see a pin, and that's the pin that we are going to remove next. Roll your rifle over to the other side, and you'll see a hole. What you want to do now is take a punch, and you have to do this with the lever closed so that everything is lined up. There I can see the pin. Punch that out. There's the pin. Now, the way that Mossberg does it, if you look at the pin, there's a groove notch on this end. And that groove notch of this pin that joins the lever to the breech bolt after we reassemble it, that groove notch will be riding on a detent ball down in here. Now you can't see it except with a flashlight. There's just a little detent ball right there that that groove notch rides in. So don't get it turned around backwards when we go to put it back together. <laughs> that notch and that pin has to ride in that detent. Next thing we want to do is remove the link pin. Now on this rifle, the link pin is held in with this screw right here. We're going to remove that screw and push that link pin out. Set that right there. some wooden blocks to set this up on. Once you get that screw out, it doesn't take a lot of force to push that pin out. And again, you'll see a notch on the link pin. And that notch and this screw made it together. 
remove those blocks. finger lever have been removed from the receiver. Now here's the hole that mates the breech bolt to the finger lever. And this hole right here was where the link pin went through. Here's the cartridge carrier, and we need to take that out if we need to. But usually, I like to leave that in if I can. Here's the breech bolt. There's the firing pin. Now, when we go to put this back together, you'll notice that the back of the breech bolt is beveled. And that mates to the bevel in the rear of the firing pin. So you don't want to put it in like that. We want the bevels to go together. Set that firing pin right there. This is the extractor. You can see the hook on the end of the extractor. These come off fairly easy, the extractors do. You can see that we can push it off with our fingers if we need to. And on this side is the ejector. So extractor and the ejector. And the ejector is spring-loaded. Set that right there. In order, if you need to, in order for the locking block to come out, just roll it up like that and it comes out the top side. This is the locking block. Here's the transfer bar right there. It's held in by a pin. You'd have to punch that pin out if you needed to replace that transfer bar. But the hammer, when the locking block is all the way up, the hammer hits this side of the transfer bar and then the other side of the transfer bar hits the back side of the firing pin. It's pretty ingenious how these things were put together. There's a few more screws and pins on the receiver. Uh, this screw here holds the hammer assembly in. This screw right here holds the trigger assembly in. I don't ever take those out, not on this rifle. I'd have a hard time getting those back in. This pin right here holds the cartridge carrier. I don't take that out. This screw holds the loading gate and normally I leave that one alone. This little screw right here above the loading gate that holds the right side cartridge guide and there's another one on this side and it holds the left side cartridge guide and I absolutely don't go anywhere near those. I don't want to I don't want to undo the alignment of those cartridge guides. They'd be a bear to get lined back up. Let me show you where they are if you can see them. But the rear of the cartridge rides up when the, uh, the loading gate pops up. And the rear of the cartridge rides in these grooves. This uh, left side cartridge guide right here 
and right side cartridge guide right there. It helps to guide that cartridge up into the chamber riding on the cartridge carrier. Let's pop that back down. So I don't mess with any of those screws to remove uh, those devices and, and those pins. I leave all of that alone. The only purpose I wanted to get to the breech bolt. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> so I leave I leave everything else alone. Now in the next video, we'll put this uh, this rifle back together. Oh, another thing. Did you notice how the cartridge guide popped up to its top position where there's a little torsion spring I can't show it to you it'd be hard to hard to find but it aids in popping that cartridge carrier to the up position you see how it pops in and pops out well the screw for that spring is on the right on the left side of the receiver and there's the end of it right there to get to that screw you have to remove the loading gate and go into that spring screw through the loading gate port and I don't mess with that spring either it's very important that that cartridge carrier pops up to the up and down position and if I was to misalign that spring, um, it'd be another thing I'd have to worry about <laughs> trying to spend the rest of my life lining that stuff back up. Okay. As I said in the next video, we'll put all this back together if we can. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video.